So we've been showing you the incredible images from the James Webb Space Telescope. The partnership with NASA started last year and it's bringing the next generation of great space observatories. And now the telescope is settled into orbit and fully functional, so its first observations have just been released. Dr. Heidi Hamill is an interdisciplinary scientist here to talk about these amazing full color images. We saw everyone sharing these on social media yesterday. It's just so gorgeous gorgeous and so interesting. So explain exactly what we're seeing in these images. These images are just a sampling of what this telescope is going to do to revolutionize astrophysics. One of the images is an incredibly deep field where we're seeing so far into the universe that we might be seeing some of the earliest galaxies that formed. It's going to get even better. Um, we're also seeing areas of star formation where new stars are being born with the capabilities that we've never had before. Um, every piece of the sky we look at so far with James Webb Space Telescope has revealed new and interesting things. Um, stars that are, are being born, stars that are dying, ejecting shells of material. Um, it's really going to change our perspective of the universe and give us new insight into how our universe came to be and how we came to be in the universe. Yeah, this is so cool. You know, the James Webb, it's an infrared telescope. So explain to us what that is and how does this different from other telescopes like the Hubble? Yeah, the Hubble Space Telescope uh, focuses on visible light like we see with our eyes. Um, but uh, James Webb Space Telescope is designed to look at longer wavelengths of light and that's because some of the things we want to study with it, like the earliest galaxies and stars, they are shifted into the red colors by the very expansion of our universe. So we have to look in the red uh, to see those things. So Hubble and JWST are very complementary telescopes and astronomers are really excited that they're both going to be flying together so we can use them together to study the cosmos. But these new images, these are opening new windows into to the universe. Uh, we're going to see some amazing things over the next five to 10 years. Yeah, but as you're talking about, you're expecting to see so many cool things. Can you tell us what types of things you might expect to find? Sure. Um, we hope to see the very first galaxies that ever formed in our universe. And if we're extraordinarily lucky, we may even see the first stars that ever formed. We may get insight into the formation of stars. We will be able to probe the atmospheres of planets around other stars and look at the chemistry in those atmospheres. If we're really lucky, we might have an Earth-like planet around a Sun-like star that's close enough to us that James Webb Space Telescope could look for chemical signs of life in its atmosphere. That's not a guarantee. Uh, we'll have to be lucky to find one of those close by, but we will be studying hundreds of other planets around other stars. And even in our local neighborhood, this is the science that I do, we're going to be studying Mars, we're gonna be studying Jupiter, comets and asteroids, the planets Uranus and Neptune. This telescope is going to be looking at everything in the cosmos and it's just so exciting to be an astronomer at this moment in time when this brand new facility is operational. It's just starting. Yeah, I love your excitement behind all of this. You're getting all of us excited. For you personally, though, what are you most looking forward to um, to learning about with Webb? I know you talked about a lot of things that we could potentially learn from this, but for you personally, um, what are you most excited for? All right. Which of my children do I love the which best? Which of your is children is your favorite? Me? Yes, that's the question I'm asking. <laughs> well, I, even though what I what I study is the solar system and I joined this project 20 years ago so that I could use it or my team could use it to study the atmospheres of Uranus and Neptune because I just love those blue giant planets. Um, so for me personally, that's the, that was the driver for involvement. But I have to say, um, as a scientist, to think that we can see the first galaxies in the universe, that, that's amazing to me. And so I'm excited about that. That is so exciting for all of us. This is really cool, really interesting. Dr. Hamill, thank you so much for taking the time to explain all of this to us. Uh, it was wonderful talking with you.
Thank you so much. And, and one more thing, Doctor, I just want to let you know on NASA on their Instagram, you can actually save the pictures. You can make it your wallpaper. So that's always really cool. This is the Southern Ring Nebula. So for you viewers at home, go to their NASA Instagram and you can save it. So, so cool. Very great. Thank you. All right. Love it. Thanks, Dr. Hamill.